Welcome to another edition of the Farmcast presented by 21st Century Equipment. I'm Mike Wemhoff, Vice President of Precision Ag, and I got with me Hank Jackson, uh, one of our Precision Ag managers, a uh, longtime listener, first time caller. <laughs> yep, uh, yep. Uh, Hank hasn't been on a Farmcast episode, so welcome, Hank. <laughs> yeah, Appreciate thank, you joining us. Thank you for having me. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a green fit and, and also our Precision Ag Essentials kit and connectivity in general. Green fit might be a new terminology for some of our listeners. Yep. So, what is it, Hank? Yeah, um, so green fit's uh, uh, going to be a controller that integrates John Deere technology into uh, any any color equipment really. You're seeing a lot of farms that have uh, different color equipment. So what GreenFit does, it kind of ties the technology aspect together to where farmers and uh, operators are only having to learn one system and know okay. one system. So it's all John Deere technology at that yep. point, even in uh, non-John Deere yep. equipment. Yeah, uh, GreenFit's uh, gonna be the authorized auto track interface uh, for for manufacturers so you can put your green star technology in whatever tractor you you kind of want to mm -hmm. want to get it into is there any uh, stipulations around starfire signals or uh, so, capabilities with that as far as limitations i guess no nope. 3000 6000 7000 7500 any uh, sf1 2630s 4640s uh, and the new g5s anything can can work with the green fit system. Good. And we don't like to talk about anything prior to 2630, so that's okay. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. It adds a good aspect for our customers to be able yep. to really Definitely. take advantage of technology, take advantage of connectivity yep. of that equipment. Um, you know, the John Deere Operation Center really has uh, transformed into hopefully that operating system for mm -hmm. the farm yeah. where not only they see their John Deere equipment in there, but they see other colored pieces of equipment, mm -hmm. but also their trucking fleets and things like that. So, you know, connectivity is a, is a big portion of that. And, and then they can take advantage of mm -hmm. auto track uh, yeah. alongside of that, right? Yep, definitely. Um, what's nice is with, with the green fit system, you can, uh, you know, get those screens and get the operating system that you're used to, but it's also allowing guys to put modems in um, in their equipment and manage everything within the op center. Op center has, has been around and it's very familiar um, to customers. And so being able to utilize that in, in any piece of equipment mm -hmm. adds, adds a lot of value. And they can use the Operation Center mobile app, right? Yep. And uh, all seamlessly connects together. Mm -hmm. So uh, yep. a good opportunity to really take advantage of, of that technology. Yeah, correct. Thinking about just general connectivity, um, mm -hmm. you know, we've talked about the Precision Ag Essentials Kit, but I think it's worthwhile talking about again. What have you seen from that? I know you've had a lot of good exposure and yeah. experience getting that to customers in, in our area, especially in, in the Nebraska Panhandle, yeah. but uh, tell us kind of what yeah. your success stories are with that. What's nice about the Precision Ag Essentials Kit is it, uh, your customers who maybe are new to auto track or uh, have um, some outdated technology, they're able to upgrade to the, the latest systems, the G5 Plus and the Starfire 7000, in addition to getting a, a modem in that kit. And what's nice about that is it's a low low entry cost. Mm -hmm. Customers are, are not having to spend the, the amount um, to buy everything outright. They're able to get all of this hardware and, and own it, um, you know, you're not, not renting it or anything. You you own the hardware. Day but, one, right? Yep. You own the hardware day one. Yep. Yep. Day one. It's been nice for guys looking to upgrade, um, especially utilizing uh, like your advanced licenses to where in the past they, they might not have been able to use implement guidance or use uh, the auto path, uh, diff the different functionalities that a, that advanced license brings. They're able to get into that at a, a lower entry cost. Yeah. So. Yep. And that cost is uh, $2,000 for the hardware. Yep. Uh, and then uh, if you're looking for base technology, that's uh, $2,000 a year for five years. Yep. Um, so a total of $12,000 spread out over a course of five years. And that's about $3,000 cheaper than if you'd buy right. all yeah. of that hardware and buy all the subscriptions necessary yep. Yep. Um, up front. So good option um, and it spreads out that cost a little mm -hmm. bit for our customers. But yeah, um, is there any other kind of Benefits well, I, or, or good yeah. uh, testimonials from customers. I guess one of the, the other nice things is with that, um, including that 7,000 receiver in in the kit, uh, guys are able to get the SFRTK signal. Um, so in the past, you know, they haven't wanted to to go to RTK just because of that that investment. Mm -hmm. Now they're able to uh, 
to get RTK level accuracy without without the uh, the cost there. Nice. So. Yep. No, and that's a, a good option when you can't upgrade up to to get SFRTK. You have to be at least at a Starfire 7000, and, and we now have the 7500, which are really synonymous pieces of equipment. But to be able to to get to that level without having to, like you said, make that investment on sure. the hardware, yeah. so uh, yeah. a good option for our customers as well. Yeah. What's nice about the Ag Essentials kit, and we you know talked about grain fit, is they kind of can work hand in hand for guys mm -hmm. that maybe don't have an extra display or extra receiver laying around and they're able to to merge the two to put it put it wherever they they want whatever piece of equipment they they choose to when i think about the transition to sfrtk mm -hmm. the capability of not have to worry about changing towers mm -hmm. you know we have a lot of customers that are spread out in geography and sure. um, just another another thing to take away from uh, having to remember to do when you get to right. that field yep. miles and miles away, right? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, SFRTK being a, a satellite-based um, correction source uh, with RTK level accuracy, like you said, it, it just takes one extra step out of the equation when guys are trying to, you know, they're sitting at the edge of the field trying to get ready. You know, it's full coverage, right? It's yeah. not uh, you're getting too far away from a tower. Uh, so it, it does a great job and a good option for guys who are looking to, to maybe make that jump to higher accuracy sure. precision. Do you have a success story of, of either a, a customer converting from competitive deer technology into deer or even going from legacy deer technology sure. to upgraded with the Ag, precision ag essentials kit? I have a customer that he, uh, he got five Precision Ag Essentials kits, because his biggest uh, thing was he, he loves staying up to date on technology. He loves having the, the newest display, the newest receiver, but was getting tired of that upfront cost of mm -hmm. always to just stay up to date. Um, it, technology is, uh, it can be pricey. He actually went with five of the Ag Essentials kits, was able to pick which displays, you know, he was gonna put the advanced licenses on, but he saw value in that because in the future when when new displays new opportunities come out for the technology it's it's a lot less investment cost up front for him to where he can update you know when the new stuff does come out and it's not as much out of pocket for him sure yeah um, yep and then as far as competitive you know competitive uh guys getting into john deere technology again it's that that low entry cost uh, but it, it opened up their eyes being able to use utilize operation center and and seeing the value that that the uh, whole farm connectivity can bring them they went from having uh, notebooks and keeping track of everything on uh, with pencil and paper to to utilizing op center to, awesome. to do all their record keeping so it's been very very successful um, and it's a it's a good option. Was that, you said, you know, transition of record keeping into mm -hmm. the operation center, was that uh, one particular operation or, or was it uh, kind of um, across the whole year being able to? No, yeah, it, it's been, uh, yeah, across the whole year, he was actually able to keep, you know, keep track of his seating records. What's nice about the universal display and receiver is he's able to move it around. Um, so he's, he's, Move that into into a sprayer, and he's keeping track of his spray rates and and what he's spraying. You know, now that we're getting into harvest, he's going to start keeping track of that, and has even started talking about overlaying seeding data with with his yields to uh, to look at what he can maybe do different next year. Yeah. What about the some of his legacy data, data mm -hmm. from previous years? Have even the competitive mm -hmm. conversions that you've seen have they been able to bring that into the operation yep. center? Operation center does a, does a great job of accepting all forms of data. So we're able to get data off of his older displays or wherever he has it stored and, and push it through into Op Center and he's able to, to see a lot more than he has in the in the past. That's great. So. Yep, yep. And it, it really get, provides that value right away for our customers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you just start at entry point of say 2024 20, yep. growing season, you don't start to really see that value till you get multiple years right. in there. Um, it's nice that they can get multiple years mm -hmm. right away um, and really start to do that data analysis yep. and comparisons yep. um, right away. It's been eye-opening for sure for Good. these guys to, awesome. to be able to see the what they can do with their data and yeah. uh, keep track of everything. Yep. Have any of the conversions um, specifically got into like work planner or some of those pre-tasks uh, or, or pre-planning stages mm -hmm. in the operation center? How has that gone? I, I've had a, a few guys that have, uh, have started to do it just because um, when we've 
moved data into Op Center, they realized how much junk mm -hmm. was there, um, you know, multiple way lines, multiple fields. So with, with Work Planner, they're able to, to set everything up beforehand to where their operator, they're not messing anything up. They're not trying to struggle to find a field, getting upset and just making a new one. So that, that pre-planning has added a lot of value yeah. um, just for, for the record keeping, so. <laughs> and, and we are gonna talk about quality data as a, as a whole another FarmCast episode, yeah. but um, we can touch on it here since we're on the topic, <laughs> but quality of the data makes a huge difference mm -hmm. when you're either trying to plan an operation yeah. or um, do an analysis off season, yeah. looking at profit and loss type, type situations. So yeah. um, really makes a big difference oh, yeah. for our customers um, as, they, as they move into s different parts of the season. Yep. Yeah, we talked about right at the at the uh, Ag Expo last year. Mm -hmm. The Precision Ag Essentials kits were, yep. were new, so we talked about it there. But uh, and we'll continue to, to talk about it. Our next Ag Expo is in Greeley, Colorado, on February 26th and 27th. So we have flyers at all of our 26 locations. Uh, so look for those. Look for opportunities to register, and, and we hope to see you there. We had some really great feedback on on the content that mm -hmm. we had. It's uh, earlier in the year this year, so hopefully that works <laughs> yeah. a little bit better. We were fighting a 70 degree day yep. um, both days last year. So really excited that uh, we can have it at the end of February. Hopefully see a lot of customers there, highlight this technology, mm -hmm. uh, all of our latest uh, equipment and, yep. uh, and other technology that we see um, on board and off board as well. Yeah. So <clears throat> really look forward to that. Well, thank you, Hank, for joining yep. us. And yeah, uh, really nice to have you on an episode here. And, and thank you to everybody for tuning in to the FarmCast presented by 21st Century Equipment. And uh, happy to, to help you with any of these technologies that you've heard about. Please reach out to us at 21st Century Equipment and, and we'll get you engaged. But thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.